Hi! In this video, we will show a possible way to work with RAW video format by using Final Cut Pro and Color Finale products together. We will use Blackmagic RAW as the example format and start from the initial conversion up to the final color correction. At any moment, there could be a situation where an operator sends you ARRI Alexa or Blackmagic camera footage to edit in ARRI RAW and Blackmagic RAW formats respectively. Final Cut Pro cannot open these formats. If you're using a camera such as a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema, then you can in theory select ProRes as the recording codec, and this codec is fully supported and works very well in Final Cut Pro. But filming in RAW is preferred for many reasons, and a big one is that important decisions about the final look of the image can be pushed back to a later stage. To work with Blackmagic RAW in Final Cut Pro, you will need to use Color Finale Transcoder. Open Final Cut, go into Transcoder, and open the disk containing the B-RAW format files. You can open the folders that contain the video files manually, or you can enable the deep scan option, which finds all the videos in subfolders automatically. Now select the needed files, the color space of the video, and the codec to save the result in. Basic color corrections can be added in this section too such as white balance and exposure, and this is one of the advantages of working with RAW files. After choosing the settings, the selection can be saved in several ways. Let's explore the two main options. Right-click and choose Import Selected. This option is convenient if you have a small project and you need to quickly add some footage into the library. The other option is Q for transcoding too. Choose this option for times when you have a big project. You can choose the export location, including external drives. Now wait a few moments for the transcoding to finish, and then click Import Processed. Choose a library to import into, and then you can start working with the transcoded files on the timeline. Let's apply the Color Finale 2 Pro plugin. Now assign an input LUT to the color space that was chosen for the transcoding. In some cases, it's convenient to apply a LUT of this kind as a layer instead. In the Layers panel, select Insert LUT or Preset and find the LUT in the Preview Gallery. Note that the gallery shows real-time previews. Moving on, let's work on our look by using the color wheels. For the final step, a creative color correction can be applied. The fastest and easiest way is to use another LUT. Go into Insert LUT or Preset again and choose a LUT you like. For example, a LUT from the Color Finale collection. You can view the full list on our website. Let's reduce the intensity of the LUT on the image for a more natural look. Once you are happy with the adjustment, Apply the effect onto other clips simply by copy and pasting from the Color Finale Inspector menu. Now you can save the file and send it to your client. With the help of Color Finale Transcoder and the Color Finale 2 Pro plugin, you can quickly achieve a quality result when you use professional camera formats in Final Cut Pro. Try Color Finale 2 Pro and Color Finale Transcoder for free with a 7 day trial. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on Color Finale Transcoder and Color Finale 2 Pro. Goodbye.